Sponsoring this video, and if you stick around, I'll get you 15% off the original Arrow Press plus my exclusive code that will get you 15% off the newly launched Arrow Press Styles Clear and XL models. Welcome back, adventurers. We are back, and this time we are here in Puerto Rico on our honeymoon. We just got married like two weeks ago, right? I think. About For the second time, it was the religious ceremony. Yes. Okay. <laughs> but it was like the whole thing. We had a celebration with family, friends, and it was a nice small wedding. It was a lot of fun though. We enjoyed it a lot. Yeah. So we came here to spend some time yeah. together and have fun in Puerto Rico. Yeah. Well, today we're going to Old San Juan. We're going to explore a little bit out there. But first, we're going to give you a tour of the apartment, the Airbnb that we have out here. It's beautiful! It's beautiful! Very you will see. Well, the best part is the view out here. We have a really nice terrace which includes a table that we just ate breakfast on and then we have a jacuzzi <laughs> and we have lounge chairs right over here look at this and the view is just absolutely gorgeous look at those waves so the only thing that i don't like is that we cannot go to you know like to the beach actually here but we yeah like uh here. we're right in between the Verde, which is on that side and then uh, old San Juan is on that side and Condado and uh, basically we're in between so we have to decide we can go to the beach out there if we want to and there's one over there uh, we're right in between so it's really cool I'm wondering if we can still step a little bit over there you see because we have access I've seen people over there yeah so we might have like really meditation time <laughs> <laughs> yeah we could just hang out over there and if we want to as well just meditate or whatever the hell you want to do yoga <laughs> No, no, I don't do yoga yet. No. I, I started once, but I never continued. All right, so let's, let's give you a tour of the apartment here. This is the living room, and we have a TV over there. And yesterday, what, what were we watching yesterday? I don't want to say it. We watched Love Island. No, because <laughs> you are advertising them. No, I'm just saying what we watch. Okay. So we watched, we watched Love Island on Peacock. Right on here oh on my LGTV. goodness, you sound yeah. like JetBlue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they advertise that all the time on the airplane. We have a little bathroom over here. So just the bathroom, you know, if you want to use that. We have a kitchen. That's my kitchen. That's where Jennifer cooked. She made some uh, delicious she, she's gonna omelets. She's going to make tomorrow. Shakshuka. I'll try, we'll see. Oh. <laughs> this I'll is the entryway. Now. Over here we have the bedroom. With a beautiful king size bed. Uh oh, hold well on. Another one of the best parts of this apartment here. Okie dokie. Over here we have a closet. This is another bathroom right over this way. And it's just a shower. That's good enough for us. Okay. Alright. We've made We're it our home go. already. We basically We're did, yeah. Everything. everything is set up here. And then we have another small balcony out here. You can just step out if you want to from the bedroom. And you still have the same view. It looks really cool. Because of the wind. Yeah, we get a lot of wind out here. It just but it feels wind. good because it's really humid, so this cools you off. I'm gonna get copyrighted for this. <laughs> Watch out. This AeroPress coffee maker is the perfect way to make the most refined coffee on the go, at home, or even at work. We have been using this coffee maker for about two weeks now, and I can tell you right now, this is the most delicious, rich tasting coffee you will ever try. Super easy to use, 
and even easier to clean. Why bother with those bitter tasting coffee machines at hotels? If you can take the AeroPress coffee maker go and have the best tasting coffee every time. All right, now I'm gonna demonstrate to you how easy it is to make the coffee. The first thing you wanna do, you pull this up, take out the filter holder, you place one of the paper filters, and then I'm gonna place the stainless steel filter, which you don't really need, but we're gonna try it anyway. And then we're gonna put it right on top of here, you screw it in, nice and tight, and then you pull out the suction, place this right on top. Then we're gonna take some delicious Colombian coffee. Take a nice big scoop. Put it right on top. And then, some hot water. What I like to do is fill it halfway through. Just like that. Then I use this to stir it a bit. Get that delicious flavor to soak in. Okay. And then you're gonna wait about a minute or so. One minute, 37 seconds later. And after that, you're gonna add more water all the way to the top. Okay, you place a suction right here. And you push it down. It only takes a few seconds, do it nice and slow. Okay, so all the way down. And we're gonna pull this out. And we're gonna give it a taste test. Ah, that is delicious. The coffee lingers, it tastes really good and smooth. This is something that you will want every day and every time you have coffee. And if you use the promo code Travelers Paradise at checkout, you will get an extra 15% off. Everything is in the description below. Now let's get back to Puerto Rico. So we're about to head out to Old San Juan, but before we do that, I think we want to jump into this jacuzzi here. Give it a test run, you know? Are you ready for the jacuzzi? Or do you yes. want to go to Old San Juan first? No, 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 yeah, to San Juan first. Okay, all right, sounds good. Look at those waves hitting the, the wall. They get they get pretty strong. And, and actually last night, we had like a really bad uh, storm out here. Oh yeah. It was like on and off, but it was like, we got we went shopping at the supermarket and we got caught out in the storm, so we ordered an Uber. And it was just crazy, we got a little wet. And he yelled. I yelled because I, heard, I saw lightning and I knew something bad was gonna happen. You know, thunder obviously. And it was really bad because it got dark and then it just hit so hard. And I got scared like a little girl. And, Okay, let's go. Let's rock and roll, baby. Uh -oh, rock and roll. Welcome to Puerto Rico, rock, everybody. Rock, 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 everybody. So we just made it to our first location. This is called Castillo San Cristobal. It was built by the Spanish. It was Castillo San Cristobal. She says it better. I don't have the <laughs> accent that she does. It was built by the Spanish a long time ago to protect against any attacks against the city of Old San Juan and I guess Puerto Rico as well. Um, we're gonna take a look around. So you'll see a lot of these uh, lookout points over here. This is what they used back then to uh, check out any invaders that are coming near to the island. And you get just this entire view. Any ships, any intruders, they will be seen. And uh, they usually have cannons around probably up there around there we'll see them soon so it costs ten dollars each person to get inside and once you do pay and they only accept credit card by the way no cash <laughs> and of course they don't restore anything and they shouldn't because this is the whole point of it it's supposed to look old rustic over here you're gonna see a telescope so you can see every everything that's coming here to the island here and uh, you get a really nice view so from this point soldier that was in charge of looking from here was supposed to let the others know if they would see any like a boat or submarines they said and then they would get everyone ready to attack them yeah 
And something they said about World War II, it was built around that time? Oh yeah, it was built around the World War II. That's right. Yes. It's super wet and there's a lot of water. Look at that view, it's amazing. And by the way, out here, there's another fortress out there. And between this fortress and the other fortress, there is a place called La Perla, which is basically where they shot Despacito, the music video that's so popular on YouTube. And I don't recommend going there because it's uh, pretty dangerous, even in the daytime. By the way, we found out that um, for the other fortress, you pay for the entrance over here, you also have 24 hours to get into that one. It, it's included With in the, the price. With the same price, yeah. You don't yeah. have to pay again. So, somebody was held captive over here. Some sort of captain. And he drew all these drawings. You can see right over here. My shadow is kind of blocking it. Let me do it this way. Okay. So I guess he was bored and uh, he was an artist. And he was waiting he for his all execution. He was, for yeah. Mutiny. That's, that's another thing. He was waiting for his execution. And what a way to go, right? I mean, what a, look at this place. It's so creepy. But, but you know, it's, it's big. It's spacious. Oh, it's so spacious. That makes it even better, right? <laughs> a little. At least, you know, rather than just a two by two something. Mm -hmm. Just imagine spending the rest of your I'm days kind of feeling something, over here. You know? Yeah, it's, it's very creepy, guys. It smells kind of like death. Oh, no, it doesn't. The, yeah. fact, the fact that somebody like actually was here. Is. Yeah. Years ago, you know. Oh my goodness. And he was gated up Have over you heard here. about the dimensions oh. that we are now you know in what? this dimension? But, uh -huh. you know, you can get to other dimensions. <laughs> in, in the personal section. This is where they do weddings. You know, we, we didn't have that many people, so this would have been a perfect place to do our wedding. The ceremony. Alright, so we tried it, we're trying Popsicle experience in Puerto Rico. Alright, so I decided to go with the Cookie Monster flavor, but they have so many different variety of flavors there, cheesecake, strawberries, so many different flavors, but I love cookies, so this is it. And he's an ice cream lover. Yeah, good time. Oh my god. Oh my god, this is so good. We have a mixture of flavors. It's leaking. Anyway, guys gotta try this out. Alright, hope you guys enjoyed the tour. Uh, we're about to head out, a little bit late, but uh, we're gonna go have some dinner. Um, we're gonna eat some local Puerto Rican food. Um, Jennifer wants to just like dying to have some mofongo, which is a really popular dish here. And what are, what are the dishes? Gandules. Gandules. Arroz con gandules. Yes, I gotta try one. I never tried one just of those. Just some beans. That's it? Alright, so I tried that. Yeah. Alright. Yeah. Okay, so we just got the Mofanko <coughs> at the Mofanko house. And this costs how much? This is about $16.99, right? Yeah. And the drink is about uh, $4. $4, $4 dollars, yeah. Looks really good. And uh, if you look around, you'll see people putting dollar, dollar bills and with their name on it. So we're going to leave one with our name on it. We're going to leave a mark, right? Yeah. All right, dig in, enjoy. How does it taste? Very good. I love good? it. You like it? Yeah. Very tasty. Let me take a bite. Mm. 
It's it's hard. Give you chicken. No, give me, give me with together with that, yeah. All right. Oh goodness. Let's feed the baby. Delicious. Anyways, we'll see you guys on the next one. See ya. Peace out. Bye.